Welcome, welcome. If you follow us on this channel, you know we have a passion for renovation. We are renovating our own house in Alentejo and now we had the opportunity to come and help a landlord in Lisbon to renovate and give an uplift to his apartment. I have to be honest, the majority of the work is actually done by Tony, my husband, and the builder we partner with. But let me show you what we've been up to in this house here in Lisbon city center that will soon be available for rent. So stay tuned if you're interested for a large apartment in the city center of Lisbon, specifically in Estrela, Calçada da Estrela with the beautiful Jardim da Estrela. This might be the place for you. So, so a little bit of this house, the previous tenant was here for almost 20 years. So as you can imagine, the house needs a lot of love and care. So I'm going to show you, start here with the living room. So where I'm right now, is the living room and you can see one of the updates we are doing just by looking above and you're going to ask yourself what is that tool here well this tool here is used to make use dry uh, get drywall all the way up so what we are doing in this space is since you spend so much time in the living room one thing that is really annoying is to hear your neighbors so we needed to put a plador ceiling and put a lot of insulation on top. It's called Land Rocha. We got the one that is the most acoustically effective so you don't hear anything from above to make really a huge difference. Next, what are we gonna do? We're gonna paint it and put some beautiful finishings across, which in Portugal we call san sancas. And here we're going to put a beautiful rosetta that I'm going to show you in a tiny bit. So that's mainly what we are doing here. So here you go. Let's give you a new look to this living room once we put the ceiling. So here it is, the beautiful rosetta. And we found this really lovely antique chandelier to put it here. And you can see now the details here of the sanka with flowers. Very beautiful. So this is the living room redone. Now what's missing is just to uh, sand and polish this floor so it gets back its beautiful shine. Let's keep moving. Let me show you here the bathroom. So the bathroom, the biggest challenge I had, first of all, I didn't have this section here that protects you from getting water all over the place. We found one where you can put a towel that comes really handy and it had very little storage. So we found this unit in Ikea that is absolutely gorgeous for you to put like your shampoos, whatever, cosmetics, and you have everything. And then you have some storage. So absolutely lovely. And believe it or not, the previous tenant decided that it was a great idea to take the whole thing in the sink. So we had to get another solution here. So you can see we got this nice um, cabinet with storage on the bottom. And then we got this beautiful big mirror from Ikea where you have plenty of storage. So that gave a really awesome uplift as well. We are also analyzing what are the options regarding the floor. If we can change it, it would be ideal. But let's see. So here we go into the kitchen. And you can see we went with a white approach, white everything. We removed that massive two double sink that was all gray and just put this beautiful clean uh, cabinets. Yeah, that's missing there a little uh, pool. But now you can see how lovely it is. Before they had two sinks, I understand now why, because they didn't have a dishwasher. And you know, dishwasher is absolutely life. So here's a new one to be used by the next tenants. And these cabinets were handmade by the landlord's uh, dad. So it would be a, a pity to replace them when you can just redo by painting the, these and just completely painting them again on white and they look absolutely lovely because this is like real wood so now it looks much more clean much more refreshed 
Let me show you the other corners as well of the kitchen. So we had this door here, not very useful. We went with the idea of putting some shelves so you can have some storage here. Let me show you this corner. We also put that cabinet there so you can put a little open pantry or dishes, supplies, whatever you want. And took advantage of shelving to give you a little bit more operating space. Here it is. These here will need a second coat of paint, so we're going to repaint them so they're really as white and shiny as the top one. On the very top here, you have absolutely new water tank, which is a massive one just for a house this big, you really need it. And this is the little corner for, for cooking. Uh, this was a little bit of a challenge to figure out how to use this space when you have this massive ancient rock here. Just look at the size of this thing. It's like a rel relic that is matching this one on top. So we decided to keep it this way and found uh, a little furniture here, cabinets that we could use in this way and put the oven on it. But here we are. Let me show you from this corner the kitchen and it looks absolutely lovely now going all white on this kitchen it made a huge difference it looks much more clean and nice and here you have the laundry space with a little new laundry room ready to be used and some additional storage here so you can have all the elements and this is the tiny bathroom that is here in this corner. Here we have the fridge that we still have to open and plug, but is the perfect corner for it. It's here in this corner, gaining you space on the rest of the kitchen. And because this window is so massive, we decided to put uh, this curtain just to have a control a little bit of the light as you come in. I'll show you how a fresh coat of paint makes a massive change on the bedrooms like just look at this how it was before it had some not so nice wallpaper which was completely removed and now it has this beautiful armenial color with a contrast of white with the black fixing and there you go this is the master bedroom so it's a pretty large size as you can see Next, we had this room, which was, I guess, an office before, and it was full of holes everywhere. Everything was repatched, repainted, and it's completely uplifted right now. But let's keep going. Here it is, the other bedroom. This one had like a super strong blue wall, so out with that. Completely repainted all the wood finishings as you can see you have these double doors that will give you privacy and close to block the sun and the noise and they are like completely repainted absolutely beautiful now makes a huge difference these details take a look this is the other massive bedroom that is here so you basically have one two three four bedrooms that are actually bedrooms because you have natural light. And then we have here what I would call it a massive walk-in closet. So this could be an absolutely gorgeous massive walk-in closet or it could be your chill out, zoom in, zoom out office where you can have peace and quiet. And maybe you make this room an absolutely gorgeous walk-in closet. So there's a lot of opportunity on this house so that's it we are here in lisbon uh, Strela, helping out the landlord renovate their house uplift it and get it out of the market so if you're looking for a rental for your v7 or your nomad visa this might be an opportunity feel free to check out the details on the description for more information Thank you so much for watching and going with us on this journey of renovation in Portugal.